Welcome back programmers, welcome to the jungle, we've got fun and games. Yes, I love this band Guns and Roses. Back on the snake, last time we had the snake uh, move like a snake, it looks like a snake, and today it will eat like a horse. Yeah, because snakes don't eat apples, do they? Or maybe they do, I don't know. Uh, so we'll make an apple appear at random on the screen, and we'll make the snake grow by one in length every time it eats an apple. And we'll change some other things here and there in the code you will see. Uh, let's jump into the code. Okay, so first thing first, let's run it to remember. Exactly, we have the snake, it move, I can move my mouse away. Okay, very nice. Escape terminates. Uh, you see there, the, the, the screen is too big and the the cells are too small, so I want to change the size of the square. I will put the double size 20 here. And I notice that if I start, everything will be even. So if I start at 50, it will not be a multiple of 20. So I need to change the way the snake here is um, initialized. just like that. I didn't have to really put the Y head, but okay. So this way, look at that, the screen is much, the cells are much bigger and it will be more fun to play because it will be more difficult. Okay, now I want to, uh, well, make an apple appear on the screen at random. So to make an apple appear, you see we need an apple. That's going to be a sprite. Maybe I will put a, a red circle, okay? And for the for the apple or a red square, I don't know, maybe a red circle. Looks more like an apple. And then I make it apple, uh, appear at random by just choosing one of the position in the screen at random. Let's do that. Okay, um, that should work. Let's hope so. What did I do? Added a color. Uh, I called it snake color. See my mistake here? You notice that already apple color, which is going to be red. A sprite apple for the circle. Then, um, then what? Then I created the sprite, sprite apple. Uh, of square size, so 20 by 20. I'm starting to draw in the sprite apple and I'm drawing an ellipse, an ellipsis, an ellipse, uh, ellipse, yes. Uh, center is at square size over 2, square size over 2, and the radius is square size over 2, square size over 2 as well. So it should be a r circle, okay? Red circle, stop drawing, and then just for the sake of the example, just to show you, I am just displaying the sprite here transparent sprite because I don't want the outer area of the circle to be uh, appearing on the screen. I just want the circle, okay? So let's run this and check. Wow. That does not look good, but because, no, that does. The um, square, the circle, sorry, is um, cut here and here. So I should change some, should adjust some things, I guess. Now let's try to adjust the size of the apple. I will change the, the radius 
think the radius is this guy. Just remove one to see. Exactly, perfect. The circle is round. Ooh. Next, uh, what next? What, what next, what next? I keep looking at this small screen here. I don't have to. What next? And next, I need to make the apple appear at random. Okay, so to do that, I need a position for my apple. So I will use a, I will use something like that, global variable, apple plus or position, it's going to be a point. And then I can have, I'm cheating a little bit here, a new apple procedure and Apple plus X is random, Apple plus Y is random. So I'm using the screen width and screen height divided by the square size, which is not going to work because of the DPI. So I need to adjust that. Okay, so let's get back to the beginning. As I said, global variable apple post dot point. It's a point, so X and Y. By the way, guys, um, someone told me that the point structure is not a pure basic structure. It's a window structure. So this will not work on Linux or Mac OS. So apple position, it's a point. I've created a new Apple procedure that randomly affects a position for the Apple. So how I do how do I do that? I select one of the cells and here so random the number of cells on the width is desktop width divided by desktop resolution. That's to get the actual size in pixels of my screen and then I divide by the square size to get the number of cells and I want only the cells from 0 to uh, the number minus 1. So I chose the random and I multiply the result by the square size to actually get the real position of my apple and same for the Y and then when I display the apple display the apple i'm displaying at apple post x and y so every time we call this and we're not calling it calling the, the the procedure by the way i'm always doing that uh, let's call the procedure um we put it there new apple and let run this Okay, my camera is, there is no apple on the screen. That is not good. Let's run it again. Another random. Okay, so this time I have an apple. It's on the good cell. It's on the correct grid. Okay. So what did I do wrong for the first time? Um, I'm calling init. Where do I call init? Right here. So it should be called at first. So you know what? Let's use the debugger. That's right. Let's put a breakpoint F9 right here and run. Okay. So the debugger, I will make some videos about the debugger, but it's a very useful tool. You can run your code line by line trying to understand what is going on and you can use debugger here step step over step out if you want to enter into the procedure or not exit the procedures etc so you have debug output you can uh, you can watch uh, with the uh, variable viewer the values of some variables stuff like that it's very very powerful and very useful so here f 
which is which I don't remember. It's not the same with the different programs. So step is F8, F8, F8. So my Apple pass here is 8540. So the 540 is wrong because my screen is supposed to be only 640 by 360. And I was right at the beginning. I should use screen width and screen height because they are the screens dimensioned exactly. So here, screen width, and here, screen height. And I can remove my breakpoint with F9 again. And if I run this, I have an apple. Okay, I have another apple. I have another apple. Okay, it seems to work now. The apple is appearing at random inside the screen. Yes, that works. Now the good part, which is the snake eating the apple and growing. Ooh. Let's let's do that. Okay. That's it. I've copy, copied some code. Uh, look at that. If the next move is going to be on the apple, the snake has eaten the apple. So what do I do? I'm just displaying a new apple because this one is going to be eaten. And I'm redimensioning the snake size. I'm adding one cell. That should work. Let's try it. We'll see. That does not work because this, well, because it's not H speed, it's speed X and speed Y. Yes. My bad. Copy pasting from another file. It's not always working. And this time it works. But will it really work? Let me move my mouse away and let's... Ah, it does work. Look at that. The snake is actually growing one by one. That does work very nicely. Woohoo! Where is my apple? Ah, oh, it's behind my camera. It's right here. And then, boom, and voila. The snake eats apples and grow with them as simple as that. I have lost my apple once again. It should really be now behind my camera. So let's die. I'm dead. And starts again. Ah, look at that. It starts big now. It does not start small. Why is that? Uh, because my array has not be, been redimension, redimensioned to a 3. Okay, that's a bug. Let's fix it. Uh, redimension the snake here. So here, in the init procedure, I'm just... Yes, I need to actually do that, redeem snake by this guy, and that should, the first time it's, it's, it's not useful, but the next time, if I run it, and if, ha, huh, not that easy, ooh, okay, I'm dead, and now I'm dead with three, I need to see the apple. Okay, I'm four long, five, six, I'm starting to be longer, seven, and if I die, I'll start back at three. But I'm, uh, it's a weird thing is happening. I wonder why. Not sure, I understand. Look at, look at the snake when I'm back from the dead. It's, it, it looks like it's it's going back and forth. Hoopla. Let's do that again. Hoopla. Hoopla. 
that is strange let's look at the init procedure 60 100 80 100 yes it's no not yes let's debug that once again f9 f5 okay f8 x add is 60 and 100 I, then it's 80 and 100 then it's 100 and 100 and so my snake array here can I see it how do I watch I don't know this debugger by the way variable viewer okay global arrays snake point two can I see inside my snake display all items yes snake 0 60 80 100 100 so that should work so I guess something is happening in the loop where I display the snake so it's not eating the apple so I can put another breakpoint uh, here maybe F F9 run F7 to resume and it it break it broke here so snake cell no I'm not continue yeah it's it's running is it running oh I, I don't see anything anymore it stopped okay here snake cell okay so f8 snake cell is two yes two one two one okay so I, i'm moving all the cells okay so if i look at the viable viewer arrays I've copied this one in this one and the previous one so 60 80 is now 1 and 2 and this should be 40 so what's happening after next head is snake head plus speed X sorry I received a message okay and then if next head X is no, if I'm not dead I'm saying that snake head so that should move to no, next head is what 80 why is next head eighty Oh, that's that's my bad once again uh, I'm stupid what is wrong with me <laughs> I, I'm sure you, you you're you're wondering what I'm doing what is it doing what is it doing yeah, yeah. I know because I, my snake is going in the wrong way I should not do plus square size but minus square size otherwise the snake is initialized in the other way so here my snake boom here everything works perfectly I can eat apples I actually don't see my apples because they're behind my camera somewhere who I need to boom yes and boom and you can play that until you die okay well not you but the snake of course boom all right it's not really okay it's nice you can play the snake and it would work fine but uh, now that we have finished the gameplay okay the snake moves uh, I have some other modification that I want to do 
but I will not do them right now maybe I will do them off camera and show you after that what I want to do is uh, here all the check if it's live we should put that inside a procedure I can do that now okay so here I can put all this inside a procedure that I will call uh, check is alive just like this and the procedure check is live is going to do this check if the next move will kill the snake yes of course because I need a variable for that where is my variable where is it oh, it's here and that should work back to perfect <laughs> works and also um, well, another thing that I will not do in this video is the fact that uh, when you are creating the new Apple where is it new Apple in the new Apple procedure what you don't want to do is put the Apple on the snake because the bigger the snake is going to be the longer it's going to be the less free cells you're, you're going to you're going to have on your uh, on your screen and you don't want to put the apple on the snake somewhere on the snake because it's not going to work so the apple this should be repeated until um, the apple is not part of the is not on the snake and if there is no more room okay if there's no more free cells then you have won the game the only way to win the game is to cover the entire area of the screen with snake cells and then you've won uh, so that should be put inside the new apple procedure at least um, there should be a, a procedure check check winning check check if check yes check win uh, to uh, check if there are any free cells on the screen and also the new apple should be modified to to as i said to to make the apple appear somewhere that is not on the snake uh, so maybe you can try that at home just you know download the code check it out and also modify it so it does what what, what i said next also what i want to do with the snake is i want to um make maybe pause and resume okay you hit the space bar it will pause the game space bar again it will resume the game and maybe add some screens okay a menu screen so you can choose maybe some up you can play the game new game or you can you can change some options like the way the which keys are moving the snake because so far i decided to go with the left right only with the left and right arrows Maybe you want to choose choose uh, which keys are the left and right, or you want to choose another pattern. Some people prefer to to play the snake with uh, left, right, up and down, just to really move uh, the snake up, down, right, left, right, and not just left and right as if you were in the snake. So, an option screen, you know, letting choose this, and that's a that's. A quite a good amount of work to do that and I, so far I have never done that so I don't know what I'm gonna do but that's a one idea for the uh, for this game if you have other ideas drop your uh, ideas in the uh, comment section I will read them and maybe implement some of them um, okay that's it for this video thank you all for watching and I will see you very soon